The smoke is still smoldering here on Gunston near Gratiot and Outer Drive, Detroit's east side, where Detroit Fire Department tells us a mother and daughter have died. The home caught fire again this afternoon, prompting crews to re-enter the structure. Several hours earlier, around 7 a.m., investigators say a family of three woke up to a fire that started on the first floor. Uh, right now, it looks like it's all in the front living room. I think there was just an issue with um, a lot of electric cords. Firefighters say a 15-year-old boy from across the street was shoveling snow this morning when he saw the fire. He raced over to the burning home to try and help, and it appears his actions saved a life. There was a report of him going in the back door and alerting the, uh, the gentleman on the first floor uh, about the fire. And uh, that was one of the things that I think that uh, alerted all the occupants. Unfortunately, uh, there isn't anybody saying there was any smoke detector uh, sounding, so uh, he was, you know, probably the reason there is still one person alive here. And I spoke to that one survivor, the father of this family, who learned around 11 o'clock this morning that his wife and his daughter had died at the hospital. He remembers that boy banging on the back door, alerting people about the fire. He says the flames, the smoke, they were moving so fast. The last time he remembers seeing his family was inside this home. On Detroit's east side, Andy Choi, the Now Detroit.